catfish right over there by that log. You scheming to catch a fish or two? No, I'm trying to catch raw cookie dough. What do you think I'm doing? How are them stills doing? Well, site two made five gallons of mash. Site one made three quarter gallons of hooch. And site three's being cleaned from the last operation. Money making money. You hear anything about that breakout? Over in Solchak County, one county over. What you know about them boys? Well, the news said they're about 6'2 in height, average weight, shaggy brown hair wearing black and white stripes. It's been two and a half days since Richard and Dickie Tucox, brothers, escaped from the Gillsbury Correctional Center in Wentuga, Mississippi. I'm Sergeant Detective Dan Alferitz, FBI, tactical, and it's my job to apprehend the escaped fugitives. I took the federal oath I carry a badge. That badge represents the citizens of this great nation. Failure is not an option. I decided to examine the Quali Hills Forest Preserve, where the fugitives were last seen. I know with my extensive FBI training, there is a 67% chance I will find clues and evidence that will assist in my highly in-depth forensic investigation. With the FBI as my guidance, tracking tips from my indigenous Native American friend, Two Claps. It is a matter of outsmarting the Two Cox brothers, bait the trap, and bring the fugitives into custody. As I swiftly move through the Kuala Hills underbrush, I acquire evidence, pieces of the puzzle. Time is running out for the Two Cox brothers. With my people's skills and self-awareness, I feel that it is time to get to know the locals. Take a look around, see which way the wind blows. Law poking around ain't good. Why don't you tie up some extra dogs before nightfall? Speak of the devil, you had to say law. Howdy, General. Good day, good hills folks. How can we help you, Constable? I'm Sergeant Detective Dan Alfred, FBI Tactical. I was sent here by Washington, D.C. to oversee the apprehension of the Two Cox Brothers. Those failures on TV? The Two Cox Brothers escaped from Guildford Correctional Center at 4.13 a.m. two days ago. Have you seen these two men? We ain't never seen yeah. them, boys. I'm also looking for a master aluminum foil craftsman. We don't know no aluminum foil craftsman, neither. We simple here, folk. We likes to fish, cornbread, and poke salad. Seems that the two Cox brothers were highly trained in aluminum foil manipulation. Well, we hope you catch them. We's law-abiding here, folk. Did you say tin foil? A security guard is also suspected of helping in the escape. Did you happen to know anybody that works over there at the correctional center? Did you no. say tin foil, Dr. Lawman? Thank you and have a good day. Good luck, Private Eye. Good fishing. Good Hills folks had no information. Good day, Good Hills folks. Hey, we're looking for a couple of uh, people missing. Really? Uh, yeah, Richard and Dickie Tucox. You ever seen anybody in the neighborhood? No. No. I don't know who those people are. Okay, well, thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, you, you know. too. This ain't good. No good at all. Get out our next shipment. Let's lay low for a couple weeks. Maybe them catch them boys. Last thing we want is some damn prisoner snooping around our operation. Yeah, we can't have these breakout boys 
breaking up our uh, hooching or shining. I think you got a bite. Catfish tonight. Sure is a pretty day. Ain't nothing better than living in Mother Nature. Hey, how's Grandma doing with her tinfoil origami? Last night she made a butterfly. A couple snowflakes. <laughs>